Good morning, everyone. I feel like I have a lot of difficulty talking in vlogs in the morning. So bear with me, I'm very tired. But it's moving day for my twin sister, Allie. She's officially coming back to Manhattan after she went through a breakup. She's now coming back to an apartment and I'm so excited to help her move in. I did shoot footage of her apartment tour showing what it looks like empty, but today is the big day when the movers with the boxes and the trucks and all the stuff are coming. So I'm headed over to her apartment to help her deal with all of that. I think my parents are gonna be there too and it's gonna be a lot of fun. First, I need to make myself breakfast. Then I need to make myself coffee. I've been trying to scale back on the coffee because I've been noticing that my heart rate is like a little bit elevated Definitely during the day, but often sometimes at night So I think the caffeine has got to be cut in half at least Matcha is where I'm confused because isn't matcha the exact same caffeine content as a cup of coffee? So I don't really get it if you know which is better for a racing heart, let me know. Anyway, I have two full bags of stuff that I'm bringing over to Allie's apartment. One of them is a lot of clothing that I have for her. I've been like storing it for her and I'm excited to share it with her. And the rest is a lot of good stuff that has been in our spare closet here. So we have a whole closet of goods that's like when we run out of shampoo and soap and face wash, I go into that closet and I pull from it. And with my sister coming to the city and you know setting up a whole new apartment, I had this moment where I opened our spare cabinet and I thought there's just so much stuff in here that I'm probably not going to get through even in the next six months. So what good is it doing just sitting in this closet? Instead, I could be gifting it to Allie and she could be using it today. So I put together a huge bag of stuff. I'll show you what's in that bag once I get there. And lastly, I got the sweetest Christmas gift from Parvathy. You might know her. She is an Indian actress and activist and she followed me on Instagram a little while ago. I followed her back, we started chatting. Long story short, we had a coronavirus pandemic Zoom call with one another from across the world and we kind of like love each other now and we talk all the time on Instagram and over email and she shipped me in our place pan for Christmas. It's the sweetest gift, such a pretty color, I'm obsessed with it and I actually loved it so much that I got the exact same one for my sister so I'm bringing her pan over today as a gift. All right, breakfast, coffee or matcha, moving, let's go. All right, I'm gonna make some matcha. So I have this little matcha full farm to whisk set that I got from my parents for Christmas. And here's what's inside. We've got our matcha whisk, the actual matcha itself, a little scoop, gold, and a strainer. You would think I know how to make matcha because zip it! I went to Japan and I made matcha with a green tea master, but I kinda still forget the whole shtick, so I'm gonna try my best and I'm gonna make it in this adorable Lucy Fink cup. I hope you can see this, but my virtual assistant got this for me and this Lucy Fink is written in my new logo. So this is what my new brand is gonna look like and this cup is so cute. So I'm gonna make the matcha latte in there and we'll see how it goes. I mean, that matcha latte was probably the prettiest thing I've ever made in my whole life. Wow. You know it's gonna be a good day when your drink looks like this. I'm gonna drink this, pack up, hit the road. Hello. Allison's not here at the moment. All right, here's a look at what I packed up for Allie and what I'm unpacking here. Number one, we got the pretty pan. I'm gonna put this on the stove. It's got some liquid IV. I had so much Dunkin' coffee, so I brought her two bags. Tate's cookies. 
I actually can't eat these anymore because I am celiac, so these are hers. Ghee, I have the regular one, and I also have the chocolate ghee butter, so I'm giving her the garlic. I've got so many extra packs of Organifi green juice. I actually use their gold powder in a scoop of hot water at night, kind of like a tea, but this is good for in cold water or in smoothies. I'm giving her this vitamin D3. Matches, everyone needs matches in a new home in case the lights go out. I gave her her own stainless steel razor and also the blades for it. I've been partnering with Grove Collaborative for a while and they've sent me a whole lot of glass bottles and cleaning concentrates that I've already mixed together and I keep them stored in my cabinet but I only need so many cleaning bottles so I brought her three of her own. Two, three plus the cleaning concentrate so she can make a glass cleaner, tile and tub cleaner, and an all-purpose cleaner. And so we'll mix them into these bottles and then we can clean the place up. Next, she loves these eye drops, so I had extra, I had two extras, so gave her one. Two soaps for the shower. Dr. Teal's aluminum-free deodorant. We'll see if she wants it. Hey. Hey. Hello. She's home. That's what we gave her. That's the haul. Now I'm gonna help her clean this place up. Are we looking for expiration dates? Time and oregano goes until 2022, so oh. this is still good. It's so all Best Buy. Next month. Okay, I guess we can keep it. We use that tonight. By the way, this is a replacement <laughs> holder toaster. She has a beautiful white snag on the way. Yeah, it's back ordered, so. And here's my mezuzah. If you don't know what a mezuzah is, this one has tape over it, that's why it looks ugly, but traditional Jewish custom is to nail this to your doorway, and because our mom's Italian and our dad is Jewish, she got this mezuzah in Venice, Italy. So we'll be nailing that to the door soon. I'm cutting back to my apartment really quickly while editing. Don't worry, I will get back into this alley moving vlog. It's just a beautiful snowy day outside in my New York City apartment. And I wanted to pop on quickly to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Plush Care. Let me put the camera down because I can't hold this thing. I have no upper body strength. I really felt like Plush Care was the perfect sponsor for today's video because we all know the feeling of moving to a new place, maybe moving to a new city, like my sister's case, getting into your new apartment and really feeling like it's time to figure out how you're gonna live your life in that place, including figuring out how you're gonna deal with health problems that arise, where's your closest pharmacy, stuff like that. So Plush Care is a membership-based virtual primary care platform. You can get same-day appointments with a licensed physician right from the comfort of your own home. Really great for the time we're living in right now. And they cover so many different areas, including everyday primary care, urgent care, chronic conditions, mental health, and so much more. So personally for me, urgent care is something that has been so vital for me living off on my own in New York City. It can be really scary if something urgent pops up like an eye infection or a bacterial infection and you live off on your own and you just don't know what to do about it. I have had loads of random eye infections. I actually used to be incredibly prone to yeast infections. I was always kind of self-diagnosing and just going to get over-the-counter treatments at the drugstore, but having a membership service like Plush Care would have been really useful for me back in the day when I was getting chronic yeast infections to just have the ability to have a same day appointment with the doctor and then to have them write a prescription right to my local pharmacy. And I also love how affordable Plush Care is. They're just $14.99 a month or $99, less than $100 for the entire year for insured and uninsured patients. This is definitely something I'm gonna have my sister check out as soon as she's settled in because I know that urgent care things are gonna pop up as they always do and it will just be great for her to know that she you know, is covered in case anything random happens. I'm giving you a link down below. You can start out a free 30-day trial on Plush Care and also book your first appointment today. It's in network with most US insurance companies, so definitely check it out. I think it's a really cool service. I'm so excited to share them with you. I hope it's useful to someone out there, and now let's get back into the moving vlog. What's going on over here? I'm a little freezing. Why, what happened? Well, I had my second vaccine yesterday because I'm in that group, you know? What group? The elderly group. <laughs> 
And uh, I thought I was going to be great because after the first vaccine, I didn't feel anything. But then after the second vaccine, uh, I have a little headache and uh, I'm a little fevery. I'm sort of freezing. <laughs> That's why I'm covered on Allie's bed. And uh, yeah, I'll be okay because I know that uh, this is a, a reaction that means that the vaccine is working. Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. Do I have a fever? Feel my forehead. Whoa. I don't think so. Maybe a slight fever. Keep snuggling. I am. Great. How's the closet assembly coming? Good. I'm transferring a lot of this stuff into my dresser now that my dresser has arrived. Transferring. Woo! What's the first thing that goes on? Option one. I think yeah. that looks good though, too. Okay, so that's option one. Now let's get option two. Oh, option one. That's too dark. One for sure. This definitely over the bed. And that's it, Allie is now settled into her apartment. I know that video kind of ended a little bit abruptly, so I wanted to hop back on here. Just to let you know, thank you so much for watching the video and to tell you to stay tuned because I don't really remember what I said about when I was gonna upload the empty apartment tour video, but I changed my mind and I just decided to make one final video that shows Allie's apartment empty and furnished all in one. So I have not yet shared the empty apartment tour video, by the time this video is going live, but just stay tuned. I'm gonna compile it all into one. She actually still hasn't gotten her couch yet in the living room, and I know there are a few things coming and paintings that are going up, so I wanna wait to film the final reveal because I think the before and after is gonna be a lot more dramatic and beautiful and cool if you can see the empty apartment tour alongside the fully, fully furnished apartment. I am so excited for Allie. She had a real tumultuous end of 2020 with her breakup, and she is such champ coming back hot, moving back to New York. She's been going on loads of dates. I am so proud of her, and I'm just so excited that she's only a short distance away from me now and that we are back together as twins. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Let me know what else you wanna see, either with me and Michael or with Allie. I'm so excited to film more vlogs for you, and I will see you soon. I'm gonna go enjoy this snowy day in New York because snow in New York City is so gorgeous and so beautiful. Have a nice day. See you next time.